Taint, or taint tracking, tracks data flowing through a program. It's like using a dye to diagnose leaks in a vehicle or engine. Places where tainted data enters the program are called sources, and places where data stops are called sinks. Here, the source is flask.request.json, which flows into the variable content, which flows into the variable search term, which flows into the sink db.engine.execute. In security, Taint is used to find places where hackers could input data that flows into a dangerous function, potentially causing a data breach, system compromise, or other security issue. You can write rules to track data flowing from sources to sinks using Taint mode in SimGrep. Taint rules look like any other SimGrep rule. Give the rule an ID, list the languages, give it a severity, and write a message. Specific to taint rules, set the mode to taint, specify your sources with pattern sources, and sinks with pattern sinks. The source here is flask.request.json, and the sync is a function named execute. The data flows from the source through these variables and into the sync. You can also stop the flow of taint with pattern sanitizers. Using this sanitizer, the flow of taint will be stopped when it enters the sanitizer function, and the sync will not be highlighted. Try writing taint rules for yourself at simgrep.dev/editor. Thanks for watching.